Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen, in my capacity as Chair of UN Water, it is my pleasure to greet you at this annual International Saragossa Conference, a very important meeting which will enable us to continue the preparation for the World Water Day 2014. And I would like to first thank the UN Water Decade Programme on Advocacy and Communications for its support in organizing the conference, at the same time express on behalf of UN Water my sincere appreciation to the Government of Spain, to the Autonomous Community of Aragon and to the City of Zaragoza for their hosting of the programme. This year, World Water Day is dedicated to the theme of water and energy. These issues and their interdependency have received significant attention in the past decade, not only in the light of an expected population growth from 7 billion today to about 9 billion by 2050, but also because both are drivers and inhibitors of economic development and improvement of human health and well-being. However, there are many challenges. Decision and policymakers do not always recognize the interdependencies between water and energy. Further economic growth and increasing standards of living in developing and emerging countries put additional pressure on consumption. Climate change, rapid urbanization, increased pressure on natural resources, pollution and degraded ecosystems add even more complexity to the picture. In 2010, energy production was responsible for 15% of the world's total fresh water withdrawals. Water demand for energy will certainly increase, as energy demand itself is expected to increase by more than one-third by 2035. The growing demand for finite water resources is leading to increased competition between the energy sector and other water-using sectors of the economy, mainly agriculture and industry. If we are to create the future we want, a sustainable future, we need to provide adequate and sustainable access to the more than 1.3 billion people who still lack electricity and to the more than 700 million who lack an improved water supply. This basically means lifting the bottom billion out of poverty. We need to do this while keeping up with the demand for both water and energy. UN Water has dedicated this 2014 World Water Day campaign to the theme of water and energy. And the upcoming World Water Development Report also addresses the same theme. In particular, it highlights the need for compatible and coherent national energy and water policies. 22nd of March, World Water Day, and the whole year of 2014 are therefore important opportunities to put spotlight on these issues and inform decision makers, stakeholders, and practitioners about potential synergies and trade-offs. As you know, cooperation is UN Water raison d'être, and it lies at the heart of its mandate. For the past 10 years, UN Water has built on the collective experience of the UN system, and it has fostered greater cooperation and information sharing among its now 31 UN members and 34 other international partners. We have seen how increased collaboration and coordination can create harmony and help reduce inefficiencies which very much resemble the challenges that pertain to water and energy. Distinguished friends, dear colleagues, I know that there are many decision and policy makers here today from both sectors. I hope that in this conference and by focusing on increasing collaboration and coordination, you will have a chance to identify the interdependencies and significant opportunities that can come from working together. I wish you a very successful conference and fruitful discussions. Thank you.